So the homeowner here actually lives in California. And yes, we're in Indiana. But he actually bought it as a rental property. So he's having a local handyman fix up the inside of the house and now we're gonna clean up the outside yard. So we're here with Danny today again. We haven't seen Danny since, I don't know, Thanksgiving or so, right? When we first got out the Artillion Grapple. Danny's got himself a new dump trailer and I've already broken it. What Your you trailer looks it? nice. The nice. sideboard's not so good, huh? Well, not anymore. I mean, you shouldn't take a trailer with such junky sideboards, Danny. You're right. <laughs> I need to get new sideboards. <laughs> no, the sideboards were wonderful. Johnny just doesn't have big enough tiptoes to uh, work on this. This is one of the disadvantages of a little subcompact tractor. Just like me, he's a little bit short. A little bit short in the britches. Two guys with adjustable wrenches working on a rusty bolt. No WD-40 in sight. I believe we're going to get it anyway. Ready? Yeah. Well, well, well. We should have done this before we... before I broke anything. <laughs> it's just these two buttons. Maybe we got to break that to get, <laughs> get it out of it. Isn't that amazing? They must have built it in there, right? There is no other way. I guess we're going to have to finish breaking that two by four off. Removable sideboard. Yeah, they are removable. That's <laughs> nice advantage you got there. One load on the truck and one load off the truck. That's true. I'm not doing very well so far. Okay. Really, I was going to buy a couple two by fours. <laughs> Did that get you? That didn't. I got a big splinter though. Woo! Ow. Teach you to work without gloves. Uh oh, and I pulled the end off of it. I guess I should have gone into medicine. I got my Swiss Army knife. I need it. Yeah, yeah I sterilized it for you. <laughs> you got it all sterilized? Thank you. Oh, wow. That's a splinter, isn't that, true? Ouch. I even got a band aid if you want. Woo! It's out. Sterilized again. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Serious, I have a band-aid if you want. If you I want. need that. I need the little Neosporin sauce is what I need. I'm gonna yeah. that too. Well, I'll take that. Because it'll it'll get nasty if I don't. I watched you carry this first aid kit around on our whole last project and wondered why anybody would ever need it. And now it's me. <laughs> he didn't even need it. He knew the whole time it was for you. Well, it's because he's safe. He's you see those big gloves he was wearing and I was barehanded. I got two pair of gloves on. <laughs> Alright, so here's the Neosporin. Mom's favorite cure, Neosporin Band-Aid. Okay, so far Johnny has moved about 10% of what we could have moved by hand. Well, something like that. The hands are thankful that he moved that 10%. Okay. Hey, this is the first time I've used this thing. Hey, congrats, Dad. <laughs> it worked. I'm honored. So there's a lot of firewood, which you can see um, we're going to have to haul away behind us. And then there's several stumps to grind and posts to pull and railroad ties to pull out and just overall clean up the yard. There's some big limbs down in the front yard. Might be quite a few hours worth of work, but at this point, at least the firewood is gonna to go to people who need it and can use it, and we get to use the grapple. What better day can there be when Tim gets to use his grapple? He's happy, happy. Earlier I mentioned the disadvantage of not being able to lift high enough. I would say this has proven to be the biggest limitation I've found so far with a subcompact tractor. Even with the wood sides removed, Johnny has a hard time dumping over that trailer. When your max lift height just gets you over the side of the trailer, it makes it harder to dump the load and harder to distribute the load across the trailer. I find this firewood hard to pick up with the grapple. I would drive in, appear to have a good load, and then when I'd pull it up, well, uh, might have a couple pieces left. So Adrian suggested that I go in from the end, and that did seem to help. Now this was a huge stump, all covered with vines. I promised the homeowner that I'd remove it, but I really didn't know how I was going to get the job done. 
After Danny started sawing it off, we realized it was rotten. Good news! Once the trailer gets almost full, it gets even more difficult to dump. Another two or three foot of lift height would really help a lot. Unfortunately, they just can't do that with these lightweight, narrow, subcompact tractors. The tendency to tip over increases dramatically with lift height. And yes, I should have had the ROPS up. I try to keep it up when I can, but we have to have it down to mow at our house, and sometimes I forget to put it back up when finished. Looks like I got a pretty good load this time. So we're loading all this wood into your trailer. What what might you do with it? Well, I have a friend who does uh, a lot of auto repair in Indy, and uh, he has a little stove in there so he can stay warm in the wintertime and still work on cars. So I'm going to dump it all at his place. The cool part about that is uh, he helps a lot of people out with car stuff, just charging them for parts sometimes. And oh, cool. If they can't afford it, he'll just tell them it's on the house, and God bless. Very nice. Yeah. You can help him out, and yeah, I'm happy he can to bless help him. Other, others out. <laughs> Originally, it was our intent to leave those garden beds in place. From a distance, they looked pretty good, but I bumped both of those front two and knocked them totally apart, so I realized we just had to tear them down. All right, I'm curious as to what these things are. They look and smell like green peppers, but who knows? Green onions, not green peppers. All right, can you smell them? I also think by the time the owner gets this place ready to rent, these will just be a grown-up mess, and it will be too late to plant garden anyway. We'll gather all this treated wood up and put it in a pile. There's a nearby recycling type place that will take it. Ugh, another tiny load. I had estimated that pile of wood to be three loads on our trailer. As you'll see in a few seconds, and in a later episode, I was way off. So how long do you think this wood's been here? Can you tell by a long time? Mm, I'd say at least four or five years. It looks like I'm doing a lot, but it's still light. It is really light. Why is it so light? It's almost rotten. Ah, been here for so long. Yeah. Did they not teach you this in those biology classes? Uh, no, but I can tell you all about chicken and egg development. Well, that's probably just as important. There's some stumps. Well, there's a big stump out here. And there's stump over by the little shed. And another one back out in there from where trees have been cut down. So the closest thing to do is just pack it over here somewhere.
That's all I can put on it. I mean, if you want to hand out and load more, we can, but. No, no, I've got plenty of weight, I think. Oh my goodness. Yeah, for your 150 maybe, or 1500 maybe, but uh, for yeah. that trailer, yeah, we could stack trailer. it sky high, couldn't we? Okay, speaking of that trailer, I don't remember you having this the last time. Yeah, this is a gift from some friends of mine. Wow, a gift. That's yeah. a nice gift. Uh-huh. Well, my friends told me to start looking around for a trailer, and he, uh, he said he'd pay for it. Wow. So I called another friend, and he had just uh, decided he was going to sell two of his trailers, and this is one of them. Okay. So all of it worked out. How much can it haul? Uh, it, it says you can put 10000 in the in the bed and dump. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thank you. So it's a dump trailer too, I assume. Yes. That's great. Uh -huh. So now you can haul it to your friends and dump it out and they can handle stacking it if they want to. Okay. Yep. That's awesome. And where we're going, we don't have to stack it. That's what I've been told. Oh. Just dump it and just dump and run, huh? Yeah. When you when you see the place you'll you know why. It's kind of a junkyard. <laughs> So, a big pile of wood will blend right blend in. Blend right in. Sounds awesome. All this discussion about the lift height challenges should make it clear now why we've got this custom trailer. Ours has low profile axles. It uses tube instead of channel, which is more expensive, all in an effort to keep it as low as possible. I think this is a maple. I think this might be oak, but I'm not sure. I should be better at it than this, but I'm not. That's pretty impressive that you can tell there's a difference between yeah, this is definitely different than these three. I think it's so good for burning. Check out DKTrailers.com, call Brad and ask him for the Tractor Time with Tim configuration. Here we are in the junkyard. This is going to be where we put the wood. So Danny set the bar pretty high as far as back in the trailer, and I must admit that. You might push it backwards a little bit, or not. Okay, stop. You. Oh, thank you. The spring allergies have not been kind to me. There was a junkyard dog out here just a minute ago. There he is. A while ago, you were barking at me and acting like things were crazy. And you're not even going to bark now, are you? Okay. Now you look like uh, you'd be a lover. Okay, then.
I've been getting a little better load this time. Better wood? I think the wood's better and it's, it's also stacked in a way that I can get to it. Did you get that? Yep. I got it pushed over to the other side that way. This yard is full of dandelions. You know when they're dead, they say that you can blow on them and make a wish, and uh, maybe your wish will come true. I don't know about that, but uh, here's a dandelion. You can blow on it and make a wish. Tell me if it comes true in the comments. Wow, that was not successful. That's better. Well, we've got uh, several loads done. I guess that's three loads moved off. I don't know if the grapple actually took it a lot faster, but it probably did a lot faster than what I would have done because I'd had to stop for a, a break every five, 10 minutes. Yeah. Danny, it's great to have you on the program again. Thanks. I really appreciate your help. Good to, good to be uh, joining Tractor Time with Tim. Yeah. yeah. I think Danny's gonna be a regular. I got this figured out, so. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor Time, Time with Tim. Tim. And Danny. <laughs>